their science class in the makerspace, working to solve the engineering challenge of the bristlebot. For the last couple of weeks, students have been learning about electricity. We have built simple circuits with wires, bulbs, and batteries. We've explored connections between magnetism and electricity by building electromagnets, pulling apart motors to look at their inner workings, and powering devices with hand crank generators. In the makerspace, students put their growing understanding of circuitry, as well as their teamwork, ingenuity, and engineering skills to the test. The challenge was to assemble a bristle bot that would propel itself forward and knock over blocks set up like bowling pins. We started by taking apart an electric toothbrush. In it, we found a small motor with an eccentric weight that creates vibration. We also found wires and a battery. Once the head of the toothbrush was removed, we had all of the tools we needed to build a working bristle bot. The challenge was to wire the motor to the battery and attach it to the head of the toothbrush so that the weight was correctly balanced to allow the little bot to move across a desktop on its own. Students could choose batteries of different shapes and sizes. They could use multiple connected toothbrush heads. They had a choice between various motor sizes as well. The main goal of this activity is to create an environment that stretches students and requires them to use their problem-solving skills to overcome the many challenges that pop up. The activity is full of failures and restarts. Wire connections were finicky and battery placement could be tricky, but bristle bots were soon humming around the room. The problem? They tended to wander in aimless circles, rarely knocking down the pins. The real challenge was engineering a bot that would travel predictably in a straight line. Communication as a team, sharing ideas, and patiently working through iterations of their design paid off. Many of the bristle bots, after trying and trying again, were able to buzz across the table and knock down the miniature bowling pins to the delight of our fifth grade electrical engineers. <laughs>